Good morning, Krusty Crew. <laughs> it is like 6.30 in the morning. I don't have to be at work until 9.30, but I have physical therapy at 7 in the morning. It's only down the street. I'm so tired. And I went to bed. Mm, I went to bed like 11 something, I think. Yeah, it was like 11 something. Maybe that is why I'm tired. I only got like seven hours of sleep. But yeah, so I'm gonna get up and get ready for physical therapy. To physical therapy like i said it's only down the street i have to be there in 10 minutes what's today seven o'clock or what's today 7 30. i'm gonna be blue if it's 7 30. something that just made me Seven thirty today whatever well whatever I guess I'll stop and go get me some coffee or something. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have physical therapy today. I thought it was at 7, but I just checked my calendar and it's 7.30. But either way, I'm up and out. Um, turn on the lights. I don't know why they just turn on automatically. I don't like that. But um, what was I going to say? So yeah, for those of you who don't know, um, I was in a car accident September 1st, um, which, I mean, caused a little bit of achy breaky, not breaky, I'll take that back, a little achy here and there, um, you know, muscle spasms, um, to my, like, my cervical spine, my lumbar spine, um, how my accident, whoa, just a second, because what the hell? I didn't even turn hard. All right, we're back. So yeah, so um, how my accident happened um, could have definitely resulted. See, I hate this. Can y'all please stop at the stoplight? That's what it's for. Um, it could have definitely resulted in death. Um, I was hit by a car going 100 miles per hour, or hit by a truck going 100 miles per hour, um, SUV, whatever you want to call it, truck, SUV, um, which left my vehicle totally damaged, his totally damaged. Not only did he hit me, um, he hit a parked car, a light pole, and then finally his car stopped on someone's property. Um, so yeah, that definitely, did they block this street? Ugh. So yeah, that definitely could have ended in some casualties, but it didn't. We both, you know, walked out alive. Um, yeah, I have to turn. Ugh, I'm so over this shit. Um, so yeah, so um, pretty much ever since my car, like a week after my car accident, um, I was in physical therapy. Um, I did a session for, I want to say, about 12 weeks the first time. And then um, I started having some, like, aches and pains again. So I went to see my primary care primary care physician. And um, then I went to go see a doctor who specializes in the spine. And then they were like, yeah, um, we think you need more physical therapy. So... Um, they gave me a referral for that so um i started physical therapy i want to say this this is week well this is my second time meeting with the actual physical therapist the first time was like a little consultation um so this is like week one of physical therapy um and i like it it's different than what they had me doing the first time and i think had i done physical therapy like this the first time 
I probably wouldn't be in the position that I'm in now, but that's neither here nor there because um, it already happened and I'm already in my second round of physical therapy. Um, so yeah, I've asked them like, do you guys think that this is something that I'm gonna have to do like all my life? And I mean, to be honest, she's like, she says no, but she's like, you just never know, which is true. So she's like, as long as you, you know, do your physical therapy meets that are, you know, assigned to me right now, um, and do the at-home exercises that they that they um, gave me, like she thinks that I'll be fine. Which, you know, I have to believe that I'll be fine as well. And like I said, it's not anything too bad. It's really just, you know, I get achy after sitting up for a certain amount of time. I get in a lot of pain and I get headaches or well, migraines because I'll be about to die. <laughs> I'll be up, oh, turn the lights off, turn the sun off, wear my glasses, get under the blanket, close the door. I'll be wanting it so dark and then I just want to go to sleep. But, um, oh my son's school. But, um, yeah, so they, they feel like I'll be fine and like I said, I have to have faith that I'll be fine as well. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, my shirt. So, I'll try to show the, once I get to a light, let's see. I'm trying to get to McDonald's to get us some coffee since I'm 30 minutes early. So, here's my shirt. The double F, and that is Fuck Fame. Um, that is from a clothing brand in Chicago. Um, you can shop the website or if you're in Chicago, oh my God, <laughs> you can shop the website or you can, um, go to his store. I mean, it, he's currently getting it fixed because his store was looted. Um, but once he's up and running, which he'll be up and running very, very soon, um, you can go ahead and take a stop in. Not only does he sell his brand, um, he sells all Chicago brands so any Chicago brand that um oh, that's a stop sign any Chicago brand that wants their items to be sold in his store all you do is just like bring your items to his store he's gonna look at it see like if it's obviously worth being in his store he's not gonna he don't want no BS you know what I mean um in his store so you'll bring your stuff to his store he'll look at it oh you know this is dope blah 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 how much are your pieces or y'all you know come up with some sort of like wholesale price or something um or not wholesale well yeah i guess i guess oh man is mcdonald's that way fuck it is um come up with some sort of wholesale pricing and then he just pays you like up front for it so these people are like all in like what is she doing that's why i want tents on my car people are so nosy but um yeah so you guys will either you name you know tell him the price for your shirts or he'll go or you guys will just go ahead and create wholesale pricing for the merchandise um and he just buys it there so you pretty much get your money off your shirts right at that point and then he has them in his store, you know, either folded on the table or hung up on, um, hung up on, uh, the little shirt racks and stuff. Um, the next time I'm in his store, I'm be, I'll make sure to get his store on, uh, on camera so you guys can take a look how his store looks inside. It's very dope. It's such a very dope, uh, concept. It's called Culture Chicago. And like his designs and stuff in his store are like the sky deck. You guys probably seen I had a shirt on the other day. I mean not the sky deck. Um, the skyline. The shirt that I had on the other day had the Chicago skyline. Um, oh that was so ghetto. Had it on the shirt. Um, and then also in his store he has like the Chicago. Um, what is it called? The Chicago... Uh, it's like the, the designs that are like on the police cars. I don't want to say it's like a police design because it's really not. It's like a Chicago thing. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys the store the next time that I'm there. Ooh, all these potholes. Chicago do better. Shit. Tearing up my wheel bearings and my joints and my shocks and whatever the fuck else is up here. Damn. Like, y'all hear this? And 
it's like no avoiding it shit every other yeah god damn <laughs> but yeah so that's where this shirt is from um and you can definitely shop online right now i'll go ahead and put the website and the instagram um on the screen as well as in the bio um oh my gosh chicago and yeah so basically i mean it's across the world it's not just chicago but the whole corona world reopening thing it's definitely oh my atlanta is definitely different and it's a little bit annoying i do understand it's for our safety but i'm not gonna front it's definitely very 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 annoying like yesterday that whole incident with the fucking your temperature's high bitch you just had me in the sun waiting for your ass to come back with a fucking thermometer for about three minutes yeah my fucking temperature's high you have me standing in the sun and then she brings me in the little hallway door thing as soon as i walk in takes my temperature again temperature's still too high you just brought me in the fucking hallway what human body do you know cools down girl i'm about to get started all over again i was so annoyed because the human body does not even cool down that fast if you were to take a walk outside for five minutes and then go back inside your body's not going to be cooled down that fast we all know that it don't matter where you are what your ethnicity it don't matter nothing matters human even a pet shit you can't just go outside and then come in and up instantly cool down no and then I was kind of annoyed because the girl that was there, like she had an 11.30 appointment too. She saw what they were doing to me and the, I can't even be mad at her and call her a bitch. <laughs> even though that was just what was about to come out of my mouth. But that girl went and I saw her, she rubbed a water bottle across, she rubbed a water bottle across her forehead and it was like, can you take my temperature? Can you take my temperature? Take my temperature. I'm not with her. Take my temperature. Bitch. If I would have known they was going to overdo it like that, I would have waited in my car, called them like I'm about to walk to the door. I have an 1130 appointment. So that way my temperature could have been at normal human freaking level. Oh my God. This line from McDonald's is busting. Look at this. Look at this. McDonald's. Oh my God. And there's cars like they go wrapped around there. Ugh. This McDonald's line is going pretty fast. Um, this is typically my stop afterwards. Cause then I drink my coffee on my way back to my house so I can clock in for work. Um, I just ordered two wigs. Mm. So, oh, and I changed my appointment. I, well, I canceled the appointment with one girl. Um, Cause I did find somebody who does um, closure sewings a lot better and it was only $15 more. So, I canceled my first appointment and then I made another appointment and my appointment is actually this Sunday so I'm actually in the middle of taking down my braids you can see like there's my hair there so in the middle of my cousin was helping me take down my braids last night hi can I get a small coffee five cream five sugar five cream five sugar yes and uh, a fruit and maple oatmeal please I'm so sorry what was that the fruit and maple oatmeal and can the items be on the side, please? Sure. You got the um, cream and the raisin and everything? The raisins and the apples. The cream okay. you can put in. Anything else? No, that'll be all. Thank you so much. 364. Thank you. Yeah, I was about to get a hash brown, but then I remembered that I'm about to start my diet on Monday. So I was like, let me just try to be a little bit healthy. I don't know how healthy McDonald's oatmeal is, but whatever. Um... So yeah, um, my cousin was helping me take down my hair yesterday. Um, so I'm going to take it down while I'm working today. Um, I need to hit up um, a girl I went to school with because she does. You can go ahead. I feel like he should have said thank you. Entitlement. Um, but, oh, I'm sorry. But yeah, so this girl I went to school with, she does natural hair. So I'm going to take my hair down. Um, you know comb it out detangle wash condition deep condition and I'm gonna see if she has any openings tomorrow 
thinking I have a nail appointment tomorrow I want to get my eyebrows done tomorrow I want to see what her availability is on um, uh, trimming my hair excuse me yeah on getting my hair trimmed because my hair needs to be trimmed very badly so I'm gonna see what her availability which I probably should hit her up now instead of waiting until tomorrow I'm always thinking somebody just got time for me <laughs> but um, I'm gonna hit her up today and see what her availability is tomorrow I just want my hair trimmed it might need a cut if, if she gotta cut it cut it like I say trim and then you know beauticians getting they be like girl all this raggedy ass split ends on the end so yeah if she has to oh my god my camera battery is gonna die well not gonna die but it's low but yeah so I'm gonna hit her up and see what her availability is so I can get that done so I'm gonna take my hair down today detangle wash condition deep condition Hopefully she has openings for me tomorrow to get my hair trimmed or cut. Um, and then I'm going to get my nails done and my pedicure. And hopefully the eyebrow lady has openings because tomorrow is Saturday. So I feel like she's going to be busy. So hopefully she has openings. I don't care if it's an 8 o'clock opening. Because I'm not going to get my hair done. Don't y'all hate like when you, get your, when you get your hair done? But it's like your eyebrows ain't done or your makeup ain't done or whatever the case. You know? You're just sitting there looking crazy. It ain't even gotta be your makeup done. You may not have your lashes on. You just look, you don't look how you wanna look. And then the beautician, you wanna take pictures and videos. You're like, uh uh, girl, give me the little um, face thing. <laughs> Cause my face is not right right now. You was not gonna be posting me all over social media with this fire ass hairstyle. And goddamn it, my face looking like who did it and why. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and. Stop running my mouth. I'm about to pay for my food and head to therapy. I'll talk to y'all when I get there, I think. Alright, so I'm actually about to pull into Le Parking Garage. Ooh, that sun was just mmm. Yeah, I'm gonna pull into the parking garage. Come on, y'all. Because I want to be able to at least sit and sip my coffee and eat some oatmeal for like five minutes how did i go from being fucking 40 minutes late to almost i mean 40 minutes early to almost late like bro okay turn that turn signal where are you going would you drive are you from here jeez oh it's a hand free button <laughs> <laughs> it's a hand freak button. It says wave hand. My ass press the damn camera thing. I don't listen well. Only thing like I love that I have physical therapy. Roll my window up. I love that I'm having physical therapy with some of the best physical therapists. You know, and I get to see some of the best doctors. I want to say in Chicago, but then I also want to say like in the world. Maybe not the world. Maybe the country. Um, only thing I don't like is fact I gotta pay for this parking. It's eight dollars. I'm like, nigga, what? I mean, it's really ten, and then I get a little um thingy, my thing, a validation that takes off two dollars. So I'm, I'm appreciative that it takes off two dollars, but still, ten dollars to park. Damn, y'all, eight dollars to park. Got a bitch some slack. So let me not lose this, cause I definitely need that to get out of here, or they just not gonna let my ass out got my mask you know they're gonna give me a new one i always ask for a new one every time i come in here and i come twice a week they're like you need a new mask yes and if i don't need one a new one probably for my son get some lights just give me the light just give me the light i play too much oh so i bought one of these yesterday when i was at target um it's the fresh linen scent just to put in my what the fuck i thought these were the jelly beads but i guess not but whatever so that my core can smell good or whatever so I'm just gonna leave this in my car mm. I don't know where to put it I guess I'll just put it on the floor right here <laughs> like, I don't know where to put it but, oh, let's see what this coffee is Like I, I love getting McDonald's coffee I prefer Starbucks don't get it fucked up 
but McDonald's coffee will do when a girl is on a budget or when that's just like the closest sorry when that's just like the closest thing because Starbucks isn't on every corner like McDonald's is but okay they did that thing well a little bit I think they made a short of me in sugar but how do y'all get y'all coffee comment down below when you order your coffee how do you get your coffee don't matter where you get it from if it's Dutch Bros Dunkin Donuts McDonald's Starbucks hell the gas station how do you <clears throat> how do you get your coffee how do you make your coffee my McDonald's coffee is I get a small coffee five cream five sugar when I go when I go to Starbucks I get a um, a cinnamon dolce latte and I get that with um, blonde espresso and soy milk Dunkin Donuts I don't fuck with them I just can't their coffee don't taste good to me Dutch Bros I lived in Arizona I don't know where else there's a Dutch Bros I don't know if that's like in other states but I know they have Dutch Bros Dutch Brothers whatever you want to call them in Arizona and oh that thing smell good but they have a Dutch Bros in Arizona and I never had it people are like oh their drinks are so good it's such a variety this thing and they was always so busy so there had to be something good about them but I never had it. But yeah, let me go. I want to take this with me, but it's no point. Because I can't eat it. I'm be laying face down on the damn thing, paper thing. Alright, actually, I don't even have to do that. I can just put that there. not putting my mask on I don't know why people do that like immediately get out the car you do not have to do that until you are in um turn my flights off or I come out to my phone my car won't start my battery died what happened well, what did happen was uh I left my lights on in my car uh, yeah I gotta get that changed too slow down ma'am but um I need to I need to get a a lock thing on my car. I hate that I have to come and put my key in to unlock the door. No, I want to be able to walk and unlock my door. Hopefully I remember where I'm parked. Typically I remember. If not, you'll see that that happened. I Me mean, looking for my car. So far, so good at brush, though. I remember where I park. It's when I go to like Walmart, Target, and stuff. I never remember where I park. Eee! I have to be there in eight minutes. And you know, they don't want you to show up um, any sooner than your appointments. They want you to pretty much walk in that mofo right on time. So they boarded up some of Rush too. Did y'all try to break into Rush Hospital? You weirdo. Like, not the hospital, but I mean, it's a part of Rush. That's weird for them to do that. For them to try to break into that. But, um, yeah. Ooh, it stinks. I'm so sound. I'm so sound green light but that means go for me because there's no cars Ugh. I'm sorry. Welcome. Please align your face in the outline. Please proceed with Thank you. Okay, and I do have an appointment. Okay. Yes. There you go. I know the questions now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Oh, the little bakery is open now. So I'm making my way to the elevator. That's why I always give myself 10, 15 minutes when I come in here just in case I get lost. <laughs> you don't have to eat a clock and it's taking me that long. <laughs> you might want to stop right here and then Yeah, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Uh, there's a uh, registration desk there. Check in there, okay? You're welcome. This little protest going on outside my house. You can hear them a little bit. And they got police escort. It's a little protest. They a little deep or whatever. It's some more stragglers. Right here. They coming. It's hot. They walk it slow. Oh wait, there's more people. I thought it was little. Let me go to this window. There's more people. And they got more police escorts. Okay. No justice, no peace. So I just finished taking down my hair. It's not bad. No, I'm a curly girl. Damn. But um, so yeah, so I'm gonna detangle my hair in a little bit. And I'm trying to decide if I want to detangle it, then wash it, or wash it, wash it, <laughs> wash it and detangle it. Um, trying to figure out what way I want to do this. Um, to how much what am i trying to say to have less shedding is possible um <clears throat> yeah so i had got a message from rylan's school um stating that um rylan is getting an award in their virtual ceremony and they asked for a picture of him um to include in the little uh maybe a pack pamphlet i don't know but this is the picture that I sent him. Look at my bubba wubba. Isn't he just so handsome? That's my baby. So, um, so yeah, I just sent him that picture. And when I read it, I cried. Because my son just makes me so proud. Like, he never disappoints me in anything. Like, he gets good grades. He behaves. He listens. He's respectful. He's mature. Like, he just never disappoints me and I cried for a second because that's you know not all parents are blessed with well-behaved kids like that anytime my son goes somewhere like everyone's always like oh he gave me no issues he listened he this you know he has his little times here and there you know but as he gets older he's like getting so much better um he's actually with my aunt he's been with my aunt now for three weeks um initially it was just like you know some spend the night type stuff but he enjoys being over there because he has two cousins. They're a little bit older than him, 11 and 18. And he's 8. But um, it's more for him to do there. So I let him stay there. And it's in the suburbs. Um, and, there, you know, there was a lot going on in the city of Chicago. So I felt safer um, with him being out there. And, you know, he can do more. I'm working from home. So five days out of the week for eight hours a day, I'm sitting right here taking calls. You know, I'd rather him be out and about. My aunt, you know, she's not working right now due to COVID. So her and her kids are out and about doing, you know, doing stuff, activities, going to the park. Um, I just talked to them and they said that they're um, going to barbecue today and have a water fight. So I'll stop over there later once I'm done with work. 
um but yeah so i let my son stay over there you know so to make the best out of his summer i'm trying to find him a summer camp to go to um i don't know if there's going to be one open or maybe like a basketball camp or something just so he can learn some sort of skill um you know and get some exercise because he obviously hasn't been a part of any pe or anything so yeah um and y'all excuse my look y'all gonna see how that girl look come sunday though period poo but yeah, so I just wanted to get on here and say that really quick. Um, I actually need to go ahead and clock out for lunch. I'm having issues with my headset. Working from home is not as fun as everybody thinks. Um, definitely can't wait to get back to the office. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and clock out for my lunch. And I will talk to y'all manana. I just um, put the ACV in my hair to like break down a lot of the dirt. Um, I shampooed my hair, I conditioned it, and then I also put deep conditioner in it. That's what's in my hair right now. So I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit, do its thing. I might put a plastic bag just to like penetrate, let it penetrate deeply. Um, so yeah, that didn't take long at all. I definitely was dreading the process because I thought it was gonna take forever. But I think I'm starting to learn new ways to like deal with my hair and that ACV um it was by cream of nature um that was in a little bottle that worked so much it broke down a lot of you know like we get like when you have a protective style you get like the little dirt balls it broke a lot of that down so I only had to shampoo once and then I deep conditioned twice I mean no I shampooed once conditioned twice just to help me like detangle and then I deep conditioned and that's what I have sitting now so yeah I'm gonna let that sit I gotta get, I'm gonna have me something to eat and then get back to work. So, yeah. Mmm. -hmm. 